Yeah, just going down early. Goal. Going down early against a good defensive team. Spotting them. Spotting them, uh, spot them three goals before we really start getting going. That's what it was. Yeah, he gave one up 24 seconds in. That's probably the last thing you want to do against Yeah, that hurts. That's always going to hurt you. Yeah, those are killers. You got a team that's a real good defensive team. They're well, they're the number one team in the league right now. They get a lead. They're going to protect it, which they've shown here in their last games that I watched. Uh, Anaheim, San Jose, and it's a killer. You know, you can't give up a goal in the first uh, shift like we did in the, at the start of the periods. And you know, you you work hard. You try to climb out of the hole. You try to turn the tables in the third period with lots of things, but. It, sometimes it's too late, you know, it's too late tonight. Yeah, you know, those are the kind of goals as far as attitude with getting pucks to the net and looking for those opportunities. But uh, that has to start right away. You know, the energy uh, to start the game, uh, that first first shift, it's such an easy play. It's just a simple D to D behind the net play and you're out of your zone. There was really no pressure. It was, we made the mistake. We put the puck in our, in our line, our teammates' feet and it ends up going around the boards, they recover it and it comes right back and now we're scrambling. And it's uh, those those plays are the ones that are haunting us right now, our own mistakes. Um, yeah, I mean we gotta but, uh, we gotta get around the net more and we we're better tonight. And and I mean, you know, get a, everyone's look at our shot total. I don't know how many shots we had in the third. Eighteen. Eighteen in the third, so you know our deep pinching, keeping the pucks alive, that creates offense as a team. You know, I think we did the same thing in Anaheim. When we were down by a goal, our D start pinch, we start keeping pucks in, we start getting more offense. I haven't seen any of it. Getting so guys around the net, we find ways to score goals. I mean, I can't really say anything. It's, you know, it's frustrating. You know, we have to, you know, the last 15 seconds of the second period and third period is the only time we scored goals in the last two games. Um, at that point in the game, it's. Two nothing game, I think. So capitalize on the power play. We didn't. We got to find a way to capitalize on we have a five minute power play, or three and a half minute, whatever it was. It ends up at the end of the day. If you're going to, if you're going to live up to the expectations and be a good hockey club, you as an individual, you as a player, when you're sitting there, that that's that's where your responsibility is. You have to make that decision. It's an attitude that pushes you up to the next level. You know, again, I've said this to the players before. If you line everybody up on a goal line and, and you race everybody to the far goal line in this league, the, the difference is very, very low. You know, there, it, there might not be a difference with some teams. And Minnesota is the number one team in the league right now. They're a good team. They get good balance. But they work hard. They're intense. And their attitude is right. And, uh, you know, I like, our, I like our team a lot. We've got good people. We've got most... Most every game we bring the right attitude with the right compete, but it has to be there for 60 minutes. And that's the start of the game, that's the start of the second period. That happens in Anaheim with a little uh, handoff play. You have to execute the details, and those things are the difference in games today because they're, you know, the parity, the, the, everybody is so close. It's, it's just the, the focus that you have to have, the attitude you have to have to be ready to go the right way right from the very start, right through to the very end.